substantive question, Minister, from Kate Thompson Moore. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, uh, I thank the Honourable Lady for uh, her question. The Government remains committed to delivering inclusive transport for all passengers. Uh, my officials and I meet regularly with transport providers and make clear that they must consider the needs of all passengers uh, uh, as transport re restarts. And my most recent meeting involving a sight loss charity was last Friday. Let's drop into Edmonton with Kate Osborne. Kate. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the Minister for his answer. And my constituent, Janice, who is blind, is anxious on how to keep safe and stay socially distant on public transport, and she's not alone. The RNIB Director of Services, David Clark, said that I quote, social distancing is nearly impossible for blind and partially sighted people, which makes it really difficult to go and get food, exercise and attend medical appointments. So will the Minister take this opportunity to reassure RNIB and my constituent by acting early to ensure all transport providers in England have the funds available for new signage, accessible signage, to so social pressures to keep to these rules do not unfairly impact on blind and partially sighted people's independence. Now, can I thank the Honourable Lady for her excellent question. Um, she's absolutely right in everything she says, and we, we have been working, I have been working, with a whole range of accessibility uh, groups and disability charities to try and make sure that we get our messaging right, because we do want to welcome everyone back to our rail, uh, rail system eventually, and we want it to be the most accessible in the world. We've got a very, very long way to go, but we are working uh, w with those groups to deliver that service as best we can. So I thank her for her question. Thanks, Number 25, please, Mr. Speaker.